Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about symmetry in OpenVSP and the types of controls that you have available to you when you're messing with your model. So if we go to pod 1 here, it's this one in blue, and I've got a blank that shows where the origin is inside this particular model. So I've shifted the pod 1 a little bit to the right so that we can see some offset and see some of the behaviors of symmetry. And then pod 2 is a symmetric group that I have attached to this pod 1 with a little bit of relative displacement. So let's take a look at what happens when we start adjusting symmetry settings. Now in this case, I've got XZ symmetry turned on and no axial symmetry. So let's turn that off. So the part that you're actually controlling is this right hand piece. And this is the one that you adjust. When you turn on symmetry, VSP simply copies that across your reflection plane and makes a mirror image of it. Now you can do this in multiple planes at once. So right now we have it reflected about the XZ plane and the XY plane. So it's reflecting top and bottom and left and right. If we turn on YZ, now it's reflecting along this plane that slices an X. So you can have all three of these turned on at once and make some really interesting little setups. But for now, let's turn that back off. So if we turn off XZ, and we have this sitting here, let's take a look at what Axial does. Now Axial means that it's going to set in number of copies around whatever axis you define. In this case, we've set it about the attachment X. So we can set this up to six or 100, um, you know, let's say 24, just for fun. You can set any number of these and just to see what happens, let's go to design and change the length, or let's say the fineness ratio will set to 10 instead. It adjusts all of these simultaneously because it's just repeating the part. Set that back to 15 for now. And in transform, let's take this to say three. Why not? So if you want to make an axial array of a component, then you can. But notice that we can only have one axial pattern active at a time. We can't turn multiple axial distributions on at once. Now, you can turn on planar and axial. So if you know how you want to set this stuff up, you can start to make really interesting shapes just by repeating geometries. But that's a little bit outside of the scope of what you'll normally do for vehicle design, but just know that those controls are available to you and that's how you adjust them.